What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. Today, I've ranted about some stupid things. So, now, let me rant about a normal debate that could actually happen. Like, it could go either way, but I want to convince you guys. I, 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 I really do. That's the point of these videos, to convince you. Like, I have Captain America being Superman in polls. Spider-Man beats Flash. Just... Whatever, go watch my other videos. This is about like four, I'm pretty sure. But I'll go watch the other videos. They're good, I'll come into you. First up, Aquaman vs. Black Panther. 17% say Aquaman, 83% say Black Panther. Now, it should be like 46, 50, 50. Now, let me convince you first with the powers, and then I'll bring up a good argument. Okay, so, Aquaman, Jason Momoa, thank you, I love you. Uh, superhuman strength, ability to breathe underwater, which again will lead to my point, and uh, capacity to communicate to telepathically with creatures of the sea. Uh, and that can't do. Uh, superhuman -y Reflexes, enhanced strength, speed, agility, stamina, durability, healing, and reflexes. So we have man with trident versus man with super reflexes. Like Spider-Man. But without the web. So it's like Spider-Man without webs versus Aquaman. Now, number one, if it's in the water, I'm not gonna debate that. It's obviously Aquaman. That's the big point of this. I'm saying, though, it's on the end. If they're really fighting, I truly believe that he will be able to summon some creature to fight by his side. That is my main argument with this point. That, like, there's no way he won't be able to summon someone by his side. But, but let's say magically he can't. He has the trident. The trident's very powerful. I don't care if you have the reflexes. You get hit once with the trident, you're done. You're done. You're dead. You're done. Let me continue, though. Uh, continuing. Aquaman has inborn powers and is stronger and more durable. Oh, no. He's more strong and durable. How are you going to beat him, then? No idea. Well, let's continue. I'm not shocked about the two characters. They have a lot in common, I agree. They're both uh, monarchs of very powerful kingdoms. They're both formidable in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Guess what? It's not hand-to-hand. -hand. Someone has a trident, someone doesn't. Both are the richest men on their respective earths, I agree. However, Aquaman is vastly stronger and more durable. Thank you. Out of the water, Aquaman still beats him. He can survive the pressures of the bottom of the ocean. True, that's where Atlantis is. Meaning that any event Dark Panther throws at him would fail. That is a genius point. If he is under the water and can survive that pressure, it doesn't matter. If some fake superhero, I'm not trying to be rude, it's, I don't like Black Panther. Oh no, oh no. No, you're not doing anything to me. Oh no, try that. You're done. Uh, vibranium is quite durable. That's, like, the Black Panther. But could it stand up to a uh, side and side in? <laughs> No. I don't care how powerful the suit is. It's a trident. It's done. It's done. I can't... I can't buy any... anything else. I'm sorry. I mean, that's the whole debate. I... Like, even if he can't, he's stronger, he's more durable, he has the trident... If he gets it with the trident, I'm serious. The vibranium would not be that. And yet again, you can't damage Aquaman. If you're Black Panther, that's not happening. That's the debate, though. See you later. Like the video. Subscribe. Tell me if I'm right. Peace.